it's a really interesting point that you have that when you're in that live setting. So if you're a remote team under normal circumstances, get together as frequently as you can to have that human interaction because the the team bonding is not when you're sitting in the lecture or the presentation. The team bonding is before the event on the breaks while you're yes. grabbing food at the buffet, right? It's Absolutely, it's those yeah. types of things and networking that 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 doesn't happen on that Zoom meeting. I, and, and maybe we're exploring things that that we're trying to figure out right now in this world, but is there a way to capture that in the digital world? The one on one I get, but I feel like as a leader, I'm going to connect with you and you connect with me. And but the cross team connection, like, can that be achieved? Or is that really just the thing we're trying to figure out right now? Well, uh, I, I don't know if you can really replace the, uh, you know, in-person connection. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm putting you on the spot to say, to solve the world's problems right now. So. <laughs> well, you, you give me some, you know, uh, uh, you know, telepathic technology or, you know, or something <laughs> like that, or, you know, a, a better, better technology with holograms and, you know, augmented reality. Sure. Have, you know, the person We're sitting next there. to you <laughs> through some, t- then maybe we can get closer, but, uh, you know, the closest thing we have is video right now. Um, and, uh, like you said, it's, uh, even if if it's a large setting, I mean, uh, it's that in between time that you miss. Um, but with the, with more one on ones, you can you know that's the closest you can get. And still, it's not it's not fully uh, it's not it's not the same. It's ne- it'll never be the same. I mean, we, when we shouldn't try and replace uh, you know have the same kind of uh, interaction that we have you know in person. And try and replicate that. It's never going to be the same. But I think that we should just make the best with the technology we have right now. And uh, you know, again, uh, go, I'm going back to communication. I'm going back to you know, really listening and empathizing. Uh, that stuff, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to improve that um, because of the constraints that we have right now. Uh, but we uh, and and I think there's an opportunity to improve all of those skills. And then once we're back, you know, uh, once all of this ends and we're back to like in-person events, we should find that, you know, our, our general communication skills have improved because of these constraints. So I would again, go back to the whole communication piece. And I think that,